All right, let's move on to, to the lens tab. Now, if you're going to move on to the lens and transform tabs, instead of using the filters amount slider here, I'd set that back to 100 and we can just tone things down here with a little less color. There we go. And a little less clarity and I'll take down the accent AI filter. So it's a bit more subtle. That's looking good. Now, what we have next is the lens tab and this can be used to correct distortion so you can easily remove pincushion distortion. The grid can be quite useful here as you make those adjustments. Now, another thing to check for is chromatic aberration. This particular image doesn't seem to have any, but as you take a look at bright edges, it can appear. So this allows you to adjust that for any of those edges. And you also have the ability to remove a vignette this is not the stylistic thing yet, but if you're seeing darkening at the edges, you can easily brighten that up and adjust it using the amount and the midpoint slider to pull that more inward to get rid of any darkening at the edge. All right, that is the lens correction tab. We can also go over to transform, which allows us to compensate. So you'll see here, for example, I can rotate this to straighten the horizon as well as tilt the image horizontally or vertically to remove any perspective issues. So let's go ahead and de-emphasize that wall a little bit. And you see we've got a straighter horizon line. Now, when you do this, you might end up with some gaps. So you can decide to scale if you want or crop the image to the desired size. After you've scaled up, you can also potentially shift this down using the Y offset to frame that so it's a little bit better. All right, that's looking good there. I've got no stray empty pixels showing and a nice straight horizon line. Now, if you toggle the before and after, you can see that change, it's looking good. And I'm very satisfied with that. For those of you also used to making advanced adjustments within the raw area, that could be done using an adjustment layer.